Dear Diary, today I wanted to talk to you about the lucky girl syndrome and why this phenomenon has changed my life. Not so long ago, I was depressed. I, as they call it now, was on very low vibrations. Vibrations, thoughts, emotions. It all was like a black hole I stuck in and I couldn't find any exit. I was not understanding why me, who always was so positive in life, achieving so many dreams and finding the love of her life, still can feel so unhappy. It was until the very day I heard of a lucky girl syndrome, and it did hit me. When I reflected on everything that has happened for the past three years, I understood that I went through too many things without reflecting on it. Last global events have changed the best of us. I never was the one who was believing in the magic of a thought or that positive thinking will miraculously change your life out of blue. I was working pretty hard to achieve all my dreams and I want to give a credit to myself for that. However, I always believe that everything we are surrounded with today was someone's dream and positive thoughts of achieving that dream. A good example of that, the airplanes, the trains, ships and so on that help us to travel to see the most beautiful parts of the world, once was someone's brave and bold dreams. That very moment when I just started to appreciate my ability to travel around the world has changed my thoughts and emotions. So dear diary, you will ask, what is the lucky girl syndrome for you then? Well, the answer is appreciation and considering yourself lucky. I obviously didn't travel around the world by just being lucky. But the point is, I considered myself lucky enough to have a dream and follow it. It has changed my thoughts and after almost three years, I decided to start traveling again. And feeling lucky brought my positive thoughts back. I became brave again to fight my anxiety and travel. I was so lucky to be able to travel 
to one of my favorite cities on planet Earth, Paris, and I wanted to visit it for a long time after lockdown. Then I thought, if it did work with Paris, can I apply the very same technique on a daily basis? Perhaps it will make me feel better. And so I did. I started to appreciate everything around me that I never thought I was lucky enough to have. The house I live in, my family, my dear husband, my cats that I endlessly love, even my morning coffee that I am lucky enough to afford. I suddenly realized how much I actually have, how lucky and grateful I am to have so many positive things in my life. I started to feel happy again in a long time and weirdly positive things started to happen. I started to dream again. I realized I was not having any dream for so long. I've got different business ideas and the most important, I feel positive about them. For a long time, I was not being able to find the job I wanted, but finally I've been invited to several interviews, which is already a positive start for me whether I pass them or not. I started to look and feel better. I lost weight. I started to like my reflection in the mirror again. And this all happened with just three months after 
I discovered the lucky girl syndrome. And I don't care if it's a miracle or it's just the way I feel. The most important, I feel happy again and I feel lucky again for simply being alive.